What's going on you guys? My name is Ty Knotts and welcome to Top 5 Unknowns, 5 Mysterious Photos Found Online. Number 5 This first story and photo began as an urban legend, but upon investigation turned out to be somewhat true. In Corona, California, there existed a road known widely as the Never Ending Road. Its true name was Lester Road, however, many locals called it the Never Ending Road, as when it was driven at night, it seemed as though the road continued on forever. Additionally, dozens of individuals were known to have driven this road at night and never returned. Eventually, due to the sheer number of disappearances surrounding it, police began a brief investigation into the matter. They headed off to the road at night and found that when viewed from the front seat of a car, there was a very sharp turn on the road that could not be seen. There was also another the road in the distance that lined up perfectly with Lester Road, giving drivers the illusion that the road simply continued on. However, dividing Lester Road and the road in the distance was a vast canyon that dropped off hundreds of feet to the ground below. Inside of this canyon, officers found dozens of cars that had simply driven over the edge, with their occupants' decaying bodies being found decades later, still strapped into the driver's seat. The photo you've been seeing on screen is the illusion that drivers would have seen at night, with the road simply seeming to continue on straight, though just beyond that hilltop is the aforementioned left turn. Number 4 this next photo was posted on Reddit just a few weeks ago. The poster states that his mother was heading home from a trip from Honduras when she pulled over and headed into the wooded area just off the side of the road to use the restroom. As she made her way through the woods, she noticed a small clearing and peered through it. She then saw this strange, metallic, disc-shaped object just in the distance. She then ran back to her car, grabbed her Polaroid camera, and snapped a photo of the object. She says she believes that it's a UFO of some sort, though commenters on the post have stated that they believe it may rather be a water reservoir for a nearby train station, as train tracks can be seen just in the distance. The poster remains unconvinced though, and insists that the object, as well as his mother's description, led him to continue his belief in the extraterrestrial. Let us know what you think it may be. Number 3 this next photo is allegedly from a man who claims to have traveled 3,000 years into the future. The unnamed man says that the photo was taken from a wooden platform that stood hundreds of feet above the ocean. Underneath this ocean, as seen in the photo, is the city of Los Angeles. He says that he was taken into the future after being offered a position on a team of future life researchers. He'd previously been working as a lab attendant, so he jumped at the opportunity to make a career change. He then says that he was sworn to secrecy and told to take a time machine to the future, document how the world had changed, then return back home with a series of photos. This photo was one that he managed to keep to document his journey. He says that Los Angeles was plunged into the depths of the ocean after the ice caps melted due to global warming, and there was very little that humanity could do to stop it. Number 2 Bobby Dunbar was a young boy who went missing between 1912 and 1913. After his disappearance, a nationwide search began to find him and return him home safely. Investigators then believed that they found the young boy, living with a couple known as the Walters. The Walters then informed police that they'd simply been watching over this boy and he was actually the biological son of a woman named Julia Anderson. Police, however, didn't buy into this story. Instead, they took the boy and brought him back to live with the Dunbar family, who then raised him as Bobby Dunbar. During this process, countless individuals came forward insisting that this child was not Bobby Dunbar, but instead was in fact Julia Anderson's son. Police refused to believe and a court order signed the boy over to the Dunbar family permanently. It wasn't until 2004, nearly 100 years later, that DNA analysis was done on Bobby's remains that proved that he was, without a doubt, Julia Anderson's son. He'd been kidnapped from her by police, relocated, and renamed to Bobby Dunbar. Number 1 in 1995, a UK artist named Walter was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Over the next five years or so, he began painting a series of self-portraits, documenting the gradual decay of his own mind. He would paint one portrait per year, until he could almost literally not even remember what his own face looked like. It's oftentimes easy to verbally describe the impact that an Alzheimer's diagnosis can have on someone, though seeing this series of paintings truly puts this awful disease into perspective, and gives us a disturbingly accurate representation of just what these paintings patients have to go through in their final years of life. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep updated with our videos.